Greetings and salutations, GeoNerds. This week we'll visit an amazing geological formation right here in Brisbane. The Brisbane Mud Springs, or the Aspley Mud Mounds. They're rare, they're endangered, and they're accessible on a 340 bus. So let's get a bit muddy and explore this geological wonder together. So you know what I'm going to say. Let's rock. Hey GeoNerds, this week we'll look at a strange and rare formation, a natural artesian mud spring. This is not to be confused with the boiling mud you find in New Zealand, bro. No, this comes from artesian water trapped deep underground, finding its way to the surface and bringing fine clay particles with it in a thick goopy mess. So I suppose we need to get the elephant in the room out of the way first. The world famous Aspley mud mounds? They're not in Aspley, they're in Castle Dine. And they're not mounds, well, not anymore anyway. So nowadays they're referred to as the Brisbane mud springs. And it's been like that for quite some time. Castle Dine was named on the 16th of August 1975 by the Queensland Place Names Board after William Castle Dine. William Castle Dine was a native of Croppingford a small town in Huntingdonshire. I am not reading this. In the Fen country of England. William immigrated in 1854 on the sailing ship Monsoon. He settled in Bald Hills in 1858 and he worked as a fencing contractor and raised a large family in the area. Just as a side note, Jonathan Castledean was William's son. When he arrived in 1854, he was aged 12 years old and he was employed by Patrick Main for two years. He was lucky to escape with all his bits, I reckon. Here's Johnny! See my video on St Lucia for more on the Patrick Main psychopathic murdering Muppet who was Mayor of Brisbane at one stage. This was Yugarabal, traditional Aboriginal country, part of the Turrbal people and they had lived here for tens of thousands of years. Most of the roads we enjoy today, except Gympie Road, were terrible trackways, and they were used for thousands of years. The northern route followed Aboriginal tracks along what is now Kelvin Grove, Inogra, Everton Hills, Albany Creek, to the North Pine. The route is still known as Old Northern or Old North Road in places. Why? Geology. This trackway pretty much follows the North Pine Fault, and it makes it easier to cross the terrain. They held these mud springs as sacred and respected the area for all of human history. Hey T-Rox, enough talking, where's the mud? Wait Grasshopper, we're getting to it. These mud springs or mud mounds occur whenever there's a fissure or a fault in a permeable clay layer with an artesian basin trapped underneath it. This water brings clay particles to the surface and forms a goopy mud, along with any methane, hydrogen sulphide, or H2S, you know, rotten egg gas, swamp gas. Hydrogen sulphide is a colourless gas, but definitely not odourless. and it is a deadly poison to all life. As little as a hundred parts per million can cause death in a human. Below that, it can cause central nervous system injuries that are irreversible, even if you get away from the gas. And it's 1.2 times heavier than air, so it concentrates in lower parts like creek beds and hollows. This stuff is not to be taken lightly. The geological formation, and the reason it's there, is the Petri Formation. We bumped into this in our North Point Fault video over at Joiner. The Petri Formation consists of mudstone, siltstone, sandstone, oil shale, brown coal and a bit of limestone. The dominant rock is an ardenite mud rock. It's a very poor sandstone and light mudstone. And it's not very old. 
relatively Paleocene or Eocene, about 50 to 60 million years old. So very young for Brisbane's rocks. Put a pin in this for our Brisbane Tulp episode coming up. Anyway, this rock is basically a bunch of sandstone with some hydrocarbons in it methanes in this case, and the sulphides. Remember, fool's gold, iron ore, iron pyrites. I'm Captain Jack Sparrow. I said pyrite, you idiot. If this is present, and we know there's a lot of sulphides in the mother rock, the Brisbane phyllite, just to the west here actually, when they decay in the ground, hydrogen sulphide is produced. Sometimes it just bubbles to the surface harmlessly, swamp gas. But in this case, with the Brisbane Mud Springs, it's trapped under an impermeable layer of clay and it becomes up with the water and the silt slurry. So yeah, it can be a problem. I know one thing, I would not be buying a house in this area. I would certainly not be wanting to live anywhere near this. What if it gave a big burp one night or all asleep in which it's like, you know, stayed asleep forever? Anyway, not to worry. Hey Geonos, thought I'd just do a quick flyby for us starting over the city, heading north just to get you some orientation of exactly where these mud springs are. That's Kippy Road below us there. Just going past the old uh, Nunda coal mine there. Over the top of Champside. Oh, there's the Australian Taxation Office. Hi guys, you miss me? Uh, hope not. See ya. Anyway, heading north here, this going through Marchant's Park and there's Aspley down there with all the shops and the homemakers centre. And we're going to have a little look at the... Um, where the mud springs are. They're down here, of course. There's the uh, uh, football club. Can't remember their name. Anyway, Devils, I think. Bunch of shops over the road. That's Graham Road, of course. And there's the springs just on the corner there. Houses all around. Just have a quick swing around. You can see there's Gimpy Road there. And the Gimpy Road, Graham Road intersection. And there's the mud springs. There they are. It's just a little park. And uh, we'll switch to some uh, uh, field footage I took so you can see them a little closer. How about that? Okay, GR nerds, now it's time for our field trip. So let's, uh, let's get moving. We're gonna catch the bus, the 340 bus actually, over to the north side and have a look at these mud springs. Here we are, about to catch the bus. Look, oh, I've just missed it. Oh, I hate that. Hey, that Canadian bloke gave me this app for my phone. He said, if I miss a bus, I just gotta go to the app and... Uh, <coughs> Works well. Hey, I love it. Good stuff. Oh well, I suppose. Let's go. Well, here we are at the Brisbane Mud Springs. All the Aspley Mud Mounds, or whatever you want to call it, but they're here. We'll go and have a look. We'll see what this is. You know we will. Of course. Yeah, of course we will. I know one thing, I wouldn't buy a house with a courier this place. And there is a new mud spring forming up the top here. You can see the mud coming out of it, flowing down the hill, down the drainage that the council has shot, right on the fence line. I wonder if the uh, artesian system understands fence lines. I bet it doesn't. 
Hey Geonerds, I did tell you there's another place in Queensland that has these uh, artesian round springs and uh, it's called Yulo. it's out near Cunnamulla, it's a long way out, we just left Brisbane in a hurry, we've flown over to Woomba and the Darling Downs, we're climbing out towards central Queensland, going past Roma and we're south of Charleville, just about to go over the little town of Cunnamulla, we're heading into Yulo now and you'll see these springs there, you'll be able to see them from the air but... It's a long way out. It's a thousand kilometres out. So you really want to be keen if you want to go and see them. There's the road and there's a set of springs there. There's some more springs there. We'll uh, zoom on on this one here so you can see it. It's a pretty good mound. It's probably about four or five metres high. And there's lots of this uh, photos of this on um, YouTube, etc. And uh, Google. And there's some more springs. There's a few cars parked there looking at it. Anyway, I thought I'd show you this. It is a long way out. This is probably the best way to see it. But anyway, D-Rock's out. Hey, GeoNerds. Oh, you've had your fill of geo soup for the week again. I hope you enjoyed that episode on the uh, Mud Mans. I certainly did. It was a bit of fun. Next week, we're going to do Brisbane Tuff. Why not? It's great where it is, where it isn't, where it came from, maybe we'll give that a go. Uh, where it's used, you know, my feelings, it's a great rock. Anyway, great to do this, and as the great Sherlock Holmes said to Watson once, Hey Watson, is that mud on your shoe? No shit, Sherlock. Thanks for watching. If you like this stuff, and hey, you made it this far, please help us to poke the algorithm and smash that like button like it's Space 1999. And if you want to see more, subscribe and share this with, say, a thousand of your closest friends. And let's see just how far that little algorithm can go before its CPU explodes. Copy you later. Shh.